mentioned, we are going to be drawing to find our sum. Yesterday, we would have added 15, or 14 plus 5, just the same as we would today, except for yesterday, we used a 100 number chart to help us. Today, we're going to draw a picture. So, if we are going to draw 14, what is a very quick way we can do that? Okay, we're going to make one line and four circles. You are exactly right. We're just going to do a quick draw. So now we've made 14. Okay, now what are we going to do? Make five more circles. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so when I see this, I am going to add all of my tens together, and then I'm going to add all of my ones together. Do you guys see that? Okay. So, let's count our drawing to see what 14 plus 5 equals. 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. What is 14 plus 5 19. 19. How can I check myself, mathematicians? I can count them. Okay, so I can count them again. What else can I do? Okay, very good. So we could do, we could round it up to 15, and 15 plus 5 is? 20, and then take one away, and that is 19. We could do that. Um, do my pictures in my, uh, do my pictures that I drew match my problem? Yes. Should they? Yes, yes they do. What can we draw to show the add-ins? What did we draw to show the add-ins? Very good. We did a quick draw, didn't we? Because it would have taken us a long time to draw 14 circles and then five more circles, right? So I'm glad that we chose to draw a quick draw because that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do quick draws today. And we're, we're lucky okay. we knew it. Yeah, we are lucky that we knew that, right? Because it helps us do it very quickly, doesn't it? Okay, I want you to get out your top colorful page. Oh, yeah. And make sure that you are on this front. And listen to my story. As I'm writing this story, you can do your quick draw. Amar counts 14 cars as they go by. Then he counts five more cars. How many cars does Amar count? Some of you learned to get up and move. Please write the answer, 19. 14 plus 5 equals 19. Great job. I'm so glad you were listening. Okay. Remember yesterday when we had um, our number, we saw if we added 1, which we went over, or if we were adding with our tens, which went down. Very good job. I'm so glad you remembered. So it's different. If I have four ones, I just have four dots, right? But if I have 40, I draw four lines. So that is very different, okay? So we need to make sure, and again, 
be very careful today if we're adding extra ones or if we're adding tens. And can I check myself on the hundred server chart? Yes. Sure. I can draw my picture, count my picture, write my answer, but then go back on the hundred server chart just to double check to make sure that I have it correct. Okay. So when I have my ones, see this number is 32. This number is four, but I can count my, I can put my ones together and count that to make it easier, right? Yes. But down here, I'm going to put what together? One. Are these all ones? The tens. the tens. I'm going to put all of my tens together to make it easier for me, right? So then I don't have to count 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. that would be 42, 52, that's kind of hard, isn't it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of my tens together first, count all of my tens, and then count my ones. Does that make sense? So today I'm going to put together what? My tens or my ones to make it easier together, to put them together. Okay? Does that make sense for screen? Okay. So, I drew, let's just go ahead and clear everything. I drew 32 up here. Three tens and two extra ones. Does that look right? Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to draw what? Four. Four. Notice first grade how I stayed nice and organized and I drew 32 right above my 32 uh -huh. and I drew 4 right above my 4. Yeah. Do you see how I stayed nice and organized? I did not mix them up. Okay, I stayed nice and organized. So now I'm going to just put these ones together to make it easier for myself. So I can count my tens and then count my ones. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's count it together. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So 32 plus 4 equals what for straight? You guys are exactly right. It is 36. Okay. Now, I'm going to do 32 plus 40, but I should stay organized, and I'm going to draw 32 first. Notice how there's a line between the two so that they stay nice and organized so I don't get confused. What number am I going to draw first? 30. 30. 30. 32. Very good. So I've got 10. 20, 30, 31, 32. Okay? Now what am I going to draw? 40. Thank you. 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay? But remember, what can I put together to make it easier on myself? What can I put together? Uh, you can take the 40 and then... Make, make all of it come out and combine just the tens to your three. Very and good. that would equal um, 70. Okay, so I'm going to count all of my tens first. Does everyone see that? So that I can just um, count my tens first and then count my extra ones. Okay? I should always count my tens first and then I can count my extra ones. Okay? What am I going to count first? Your tens. All of my tens, and then I can count my ones. Very good. Let's count together. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72. So 32 plus 40 equals? 70. 70. How can I check myself, mathematician? Check counting. By counting, we just counted. How else can I check myself? You can like um, you can uh, 
So one, you can like, you can use like the. Uh, what did we do yesterday? Uh, uh, the one hundred start. What number am I going to start on? Um, thirty-two. Thirty-two. How am I going to go? East side or down? Down. Very good. How many times? Four. Four. Ready? One, two, three, four. What did I land on? Seven. What did I write as my answer? Seven, two. Is that right? Yeah. Does everyone see my new strategy? Yeah. It works pretty nice, doesn't it? Okay. So I should always draw, and I'm going to count what first? Your tens. My tens, and then One. my ones. I can check myself with. Okay. Very good. 